To use a Vive tracker in Unreal Engine, we just needed the Steam VR plugin, and it worked great. So naturally, it's been removed from the engine. Wait, 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 they still work. We just need to do something a bit different. Yeah. In Unreal Engine 5.3, you just need the OpenXR plugin enabled and also the OpenXR Vive Tracker plugin. And if you don't already, make sure that the Live Link and Live Link XR plugins are enabled too. Then close Unreal. Now launch Steam VR and turn on your Vive Tracker. And just make sure your tracker is connected to the software. Open the settings and look for Manage Trackers. In there, make sure that your pose is set to camera. Some poses don't work, some of them do, but camera definitely should. Now the next part is really infuriating because we can't now launch from the Epic Launcher. Don't! <laughs> Stay with me here. Just go to the start menu and type in run and then go to explorer and navigate to where your engine version is. The path is C drive, program files, epic games, UE 5.3, engine, binaries, win64. Copy that path from your explorer and paste it into run. Now type this unrealeditor.exe space dash XR tracking only. So click OK to run that command and it will launch Unreal 5.3. Open the project where you've enabled your plugins. And now in Unreal, under the Live Link window, you'll be able to add a new Live Link XR source. And it should come in with two poses. One of them will be head and one of them will be camera. Camera is the one we want. Now I'm doing camera tracking, so I'm going to select my camera now and add a Live Link controller. And then under subject representation, I'm just going to select the camera pose. And now when you move your Vive tracker around, you should have tracking working. But if you're unlucky like I was, there is still a fix. And it's to go back to SteamVR and change the pose to something else, like held in hand. Then try it with that. It won't work. Then go back to Steam again and change it back to camera. For some reason, changing the pose to something else and then changing it back to camera does fix the problem. Are we good?